In part two of this series, you are going to refute the lies of Farid response once more. Farid said that his prophet Muhammad never worshipped the idols of his family and his tribe, the Quraysh of Mecca. Both speak of the prophet, peace be upon him's rejection of the false deities. Verse 2 speaks of his action, while verse 4 speaks of him, the person. Notice how he is referring to their actions in the past tense, then affirming that the Prophet, peace be upon him, is not a worshipper of what they worshipped in the past. So according to Farid, his Prophet never worshipped idols of his tribe. Just to make sure, let us see what he said again. Then affirming that the Prophet, peace be upon him, is not a worshipper of what they worshipped in the past. Now we are going to expose this liar again by using two books against him and his pagan Prophet Muhammad, Sahih al-Bukhari and Fath al-Bari. Fath al-Bari is the explanation for Sahih al-Bukhari by Al-Hafiz ibn Hajar al-Asqalani to prove that Muhammad not only worshipped the idols but also slaughtered animals in the name of the idols and ate from that slaughtered meat as well. In this video, we're going to prove that Muhammad used to eat meat slaughtered in the name of idols on the pagan stone altars and this automatically refutes any Muslim who would dare to say that Muhammad did not slaughter animals and eat the meat of the animals in the name of the Arab idols before Islam, proving that Muhammad was a pagan, a mushrik who ate sacrificed meat in the name of pagan idols, and this automatically refutes the lie that Muhammad was a monotheist all of his life. And the proof is in Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 5499, narrated Abdullah, Allah's Messenger said that he met Zayd bin Amr Nufail at a place near Baldah and this had happened before Allah's Messenger received the divine inspiration. Allah's Messenger presented a dish of meat to Zayd bin Amr but Zayd refused to eat of it and then said, I do not eat of what you slaughter, meaning Muhammad, on your stone altars nor do I eat except that on which Allah's name has been mentioned on slaughtering. As you noticed, I placed red lines on the added words in the brackets which are not there in the original Arabic. The translators of sunnah.com always add these extra words to save their pagan prophet. Notice, Zayd bin Amr Nufail was a monotheist who lived in Mecca who worshipped Allah alone. He died in the year 605. So you need to understand that Muhammad did not proclaim to be a prophet yet. The story mentioned in this hadith is before Islam when Muhammad was still a pagan worshipping idols and slaughtering animals in the name of idols. Muhammad then proclaimed prophethood five years later in the year 610. To make things more clear let us go to Fath al-Bari which is the famous commentary for Sahih al-Bukhari by Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani volume 7 on page 109 we can read a man passed by the prophet and his adopted son Zayd bin Haritha while they were eating a meal. They invited the man to come eat with them. He said, O oh, son of my brother, and he's talking of course to Muhammad, I do not eat from what has been slaughtered on the stone altars of the idols. And it says, the prophet was not seen eating slaughtered animals on the stone altars after that day. And if we continue reading, it says that one day, Muhammad and his Sahaba left Mecca and the narrator reports that Muhammad and his Sahaba slaughtered a sheep on the stone altars of the idols. <laughs>
لبيك لا هم ما هما لبيك يحدون الامل لبيك لا هم ما هما لبيك يحدون الامل الحمد لك والشكر لك وكلنا نخضع لك لبيك لا هم ما هما لبيك لا هم ما هما لبيك لا هم ما هما لبيك لا هم ما